Hi, hope everybody had a great holiday. Um, hope you liked the beer. Uh, last time I spoke to you, I told you of a way we can help out the middle class. So, the way we can help the middle class is by giving them a tax cut. Uh, it's very simple. The amount of money the government wastes will easily cover the tax cut we're giving to the people. So, if we cut spending and we do the right thing with the money like we should, uh, the tax cut's not going to affect anything. If anything, it'll probably end up that the government will receive more money because of doing the right thing by managing our money. So anyway, here's my plan. Uh, from salaries or households of 30000 to $250,000 a year, they'll get anywhere between a 3 and a 7% tax break, obviously. The high end at two fifty would get three. The low end at around thirty would get seven. Anything under that is just about in welfare. They're getting everything anyway. Um, the way it works is you take a percentage from the state and a percentage from the government. Oh no, where's the money? If you take it away from the state, then how are they getting their money? Well, most middle class families do what? They spend. They get money. They get a. Uh, an income tax check, they they get extra money from, you know, an accident with a car, they get the repair, they got a hundred bucks left over, do they put it in the bank? No, they spend it. So you spend it in the state, New York, they get eight and a half percent tax on the money that you spent. So they're giving up two or three percent and they're getting back eight and a half. So that's how they'll get their money back. The government has to manage our money better. We have to do a better job. So uh, it'll go up incrementally. 30,000 will get a 7% tax break. And then you go up to, I guess, 60 or 70 will get four. And then you go up from there. It works out. My wife and I would save between 14 and 1500 a year. My friends, Fred and Colleen, with two daughters, they'll save about $22,000, $2,300 a year. Doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, it's an insurance payment for the year for one of the cars you own. That's a big deal. Uh, we all know we all live hand to mouth. So if somebody's going to make a. An insurance payment for us, boom, it's twelve hundred bucks in our pocket. We can do it. So that's my plan. That's what I'm hoping to do. Um I got some more ideas. The president's speaking tonight. I don't agree with a lot of what he's gonna talk about tonight. Well at least that's what's reported in the news. Taxing the top one percent to to fund free college. You know, college is a big deal. Everyone deserves an education, but some people are not cut out for college. And if you're not cut out for college, why not go to a trade school? There's nothing wrong with being an electrician. Some electricians make 150 grand a year. A plumber makes 120 grand a year. There's nothing wrong with that if that's your skill set. Why do we have to force everybody to go to college? You don't need to. People that want to go to college should have the opportunity to go to college, but just to send kids to college to send them when they're really not equipped for it doesn't make any sense. we got to look into sending more kids to trade schools to learn the nuts and bolts of, you know, carpentry and plumbing, like I said, you know. So there's nothing wrong with that. People make good livings doing that, and that's the middle class way. We work hard, we make money, and we support our families. So look, have a great night. Enjoy the speech. I'll talk to you next week.